Hey guys, let's see how to create a wheel of fortune in Excel using VBA. So when we click on the spin button, you will see a wheel rotating like this, whose speed is uh, higher initially and it decreases and at a particular time it gets stopped. And uh, the number of revolutions it takes is dynamic. It is not a fix so that someone can predict. So we can get any number as output. Let's create this from scratch. So first of all, we'll copy this wheel and we'll paste it in a new sheet so that I can show you how to create from the beginning. So uh, after putting the wheel here, I will also add a new shape uh, which will um, act as a uh, stopping point where which will show you which number, uh, which prize you have won. So I will just change few um, colors uh, so that it is clearly visible uh, on the wheel. And then um, after um, adding these two shapes, what we need to do is now we need to write a logic to rotate this wheel. So to rotate this wheel, uh, I'm creating a sub procedure and I'm naming it as spin wheel. OK, and uh, we know that uh, it need to take a number of rotations So for that for a simple logic and just for beginning. What I'm doing is I'm putting a for loop and I I am um, uh, starting my for loop from 1 to let's say 10 or 100, whatever number you want to put. And uh, I will terminate my uh, for loop with an next statement. Now inside the for loop, I need to uh, make sure that my shape get rotated. So I need to put a statement which will help me in rotating the shape. Uh, shape. So first of all, I rename the shape as shape 1. And here inside this, I can write active sheet dot shapes and inside uh, double quotes i can put the name of the shape which i want to rotate shape one is the name of the shape and then dot incremental rotation uh, you need to use this function increment rotation and you need to pass on by what degrees you want to rotate so i put 10 here so when i click on uh, uh, this run button you will see the wheel is getting rotated when i run it in debug mode you will see it is rotating uh, hundred times but when I'm running it in one go uh, you probably do not see it rotating like that the reason is because of uh, there is no delay in between consecutive actions so uh, it, it rotates so fast that uh, your eyes are not able to catch it so for that uh, um, to make it visible what I'm doing is I'm adding a delay after every rotation so for that I'm putting I'm creating a new variable t equals timer and then uh, in a loop um, until timer uh, is uh, greater than uh, previous second. So after every second, uh, I'm repeating this statement. So inside that I'm putting do event so that my macro is not stuck here. So you will see now when I run it, it keeps on rotating after every second. I can also uh, change this uh, 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 timer uh, duration or you can say one second delay that I have put in uh, to two milliseconds. Um, if, if you want now uh, I'm using another variable mx equals worksheet function dot random between uh, I take two numbers let's say um, the numbers are 5 or 11 and uh, this function is always going to return me a random number between this because I do not want anyone can predict the number of rotations so I'm therefore taking a random number between 5 and 11 let's say or 3 and 11, whatever you want to take also uh, here in in this um, for loop i am adding a block uh, where i am uh, de deciding that uh, what would be the time duration i need to uh, uh, take here um, instead of one second so that uh, i am keeping dynamic so if i mod mx equals zero um, then xt equals xt plus 0 0.1 and initially i am defining xt as 0 0.05 so 0 0.05 is the delay um, after which it will take rotation and it will keep on incrementing if my iteration counter i mod mx this random variable is equals zero so let's say random variable is five so after every fifth iteration after every increment of five counter uh, by five it will increase the step size by 0 0.1 so and uh, i'm exiting out of this statement when uh, my uh, delay is greater than 0 0.5 so that I do not see it uh, very very slow so I'm just moving out of the statement so just to make it clear I am changing it from 100 to 10 and I'm running it now now you will see that the speed is decreasing I'm also making some tweaks to to make it a more dynamic 
So let us change it to 100 and you will see the difference. So now it is ro taking complete rotation. So this way you can create a wheel of fortune. If you want to see more such videos, subscribe to our channel and stay connected. Thank you.